Bloomberg Politics Managing Editor John Heilman is here. John, welcome. Hi. So can we determine if there is a political impact from these very, very different responses to the tragedy in Orlando? Well, I think it's a little too early for that. I mean, you know, we, what, we, what we know is that in the course of the Republican nomination fight, when appealing to a Republican nominating electorate, that Donald Trump benefited politically by posturing as a strong man in the face of prior terrorist events, whether they were in Brussels, San Bernardino, or in Paris. He's, he has asserted that that's true, and there seems to be ample evidence to suggest that those were good for him politically in terms of how he responded. As we all know, though, we're, no, no, though we are now in a totally different world where you're not competing for a relatively small sliver of the Republican electorate. You're competing in a much broader electorate. And what this is all about now is trying to find people who are in the middle of the electorate who have not decided whether they're conservative or liberal. And they're not sure, and they have to make a choice between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, whether this kind of rhetoric will appeal to those people or not. Unknown. Well, whether it's just too soon to know the answer to that question. It's also important to determine what being tough means. Yes, it, well, it does. And, you know, there's a, you know, Hillary Clinton would, claim, would argue that uh, the kind of uh, policies and posturing that Trump engages in makes the country less safe. That's the argument she's going to make over the course. She made it yesterday. She's going to make it over the course of the next few months. Uh, and that uh, being, uh, saying some of the inflammatory things he says about Muslims, uh, and about Muslims both in the United States and abroad uh, doesn't help, uh, doesn't make the country stronger or safer. Trump has an obviously a different point of view on that topic. But, but that is a problem that I think many people are gra grappling with, that the words are so inflammatory that in many cases it could even make the situation worse. Well, there's that's that, what's so frightening. There, there are cer there's certainly that, and that's an argument that, again, many foreign policy uh, experts, not just partisan Democrats, but many foreign policy experts agree with you, agree with that assessment, right? There's another issue, which is the, the, the broader political contours of a debate that's about, is Trump fit for the, the Oval Office? And beyond the question of whether it makes us safer or not to engage in this kind of rhetoric, what Secretary Clinton is going to say for the months ahead is that uh, this is another example of Trump as, as being flawed as a character, right? And, the, you know, the New York Times and others uh, described the speech he gave yesterday and his whole a reaction to this from the beginning, you know, first tweeting, uh, thanks for the congrats yes. for being right about this, then saying the things he said about President Obama yesterday, then the speech as being kind of outside what we consider the rhetorical norms of a presidential campaign. And because, John, the people and are here. Clinton, and the Secretary, people are here. He's correct. talking about banning them, but the people are here. Well, there's that, and but there's also the, <laughs> this kind of suggestion that the entire, in a kind of blanket way, the Muslim community yes. in America is responsible for not turning this shooter in and that there's kind of a menace and a threat in our mm -hmm. midst and again as i say yes. secretary clinton will want to make that a character issue and say not only is he is this kind of rhetoric making us less safe but he's so volatile and so volcanic that we can't really trust having that person in the oval office as commander-in-chief with the nuclear launch codes in a dangerous and uh, volatile world has donald trump put forward a proposal to deal with American-born extremists? Uh, not in any specific way. I mean, he, he is with, with some other Republicans who thinks there should be uh, much more surveillance of, of mosques in the United States, for instance. That was one of the things that he argued in the Republican nomination fight, that generally, and he hasn't gotten any specifics about this, that law enforcement officials should have greater power, authority, and more tools at their disposal to do investigations on domestic soil. He hasn't gotten, as I say, as with a lot of Trump policy proposals, has not gotten into a lot of detail on that so far. Thanks, John. Thank you, guys. John will be back at the table tomorrow when he joins us as guest host.